There we go. Got ourselves a female. So I should say, guys, welcome back to Call of the Wild. Running solo today, but if you guys haven't heard, True Rex has now been implemented into the game. Or I should say, the first stage of True Rex is only two animals so far, which is the black tail and the white tail. And we've just heard a black tail. Once again, if you don't know what True Rex stands for, it's basically True Random Antler Configuration System. It gives the animals, or at least the animals that currently have it in the game, their own kind of uniqueness, which we hopefully will see in this episode. Now, full disclosure, I have played the game a little bit. I have seen a couple of the animals with the antlers and stuff. I do like them, but I was hoping while I was with you guys today, we can see something a little bit different. And I'll get into that a little bit later on. So, as you guys have just seen, we've heard our first female. You can see the waypoint that I've got going down there. I'm going down to a lake. There's like a grouping of lakes around here, which... I'm sure you guys know by now, it's really, really good for like feed zones and need zones and stuff, and generally just the black tail and white tail crossing through pretty early on in the day so far. So that black tail should just be like here somewhere. And I don't want to spook them. All we're trying to do is we're just trying to collect a little bit of intel. I do want to take the animals down, obviously, if I see any of the males with the cool antlers and stuff. I do want to take them down because I want to get a bit of a look at it. But the ones that I've seen so far, guys, I've got to be honest, they, they weren't too... They weren't too different. Oh, they're passing up that way. Alright, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hunker down in this bush or in this tree. I'm going to throw out some scent and hopefully they'll come in. But yeah, like I was saying to you guys, I haven't really seen too much in the way of crazy different antlers. I hope that was blacktail scent pretty sure it's the gold one. I haven't used it in so long. But I haven't seen too much in the way of crazy antlers. I was hoping like there would be some kind of curveball in the game. Like the devs would throw it in and say, oh yeah, by the way, we've added like broken parts to antlers. We've added antlers that you might not expect to see where some of them like go backwards and stuff. I know that might not be the case in real life, but I was just kind of hoping we would see that. And I'm still kind of holding out hope for that as well, that they will kind of do it. Or if I've not seen it, I will see it. So I don't know. I'm just going to hold down here for a few minutes, though. You guys know how this can go. I could be here for the next 45 minutes and see nothing. So I'll save you guys the time, and I'll bring you back if we eventually come across a male black tail. Is that him? That's him. That's our first male today. I'm just going to do a, a few more calls. I've been trying to mix it up with the callers, too, rather than just using the same ones. Also, I get a question quite a lot, and that is, is it worth using these things? The actual sense. I would always say to use them. You know what? I'm just going to take this guy down. I don't want to waste the opportunity. Let's try and go for a hot shot. You down? Tango down. All right. There's our first mail of the day. Or book. I've been trying to get in the hang of saying does and books. I kind of want to train myself a little bit to do that. No specific reason. I just think it sounds cooler. But here we go. So here's our first mail. And this is kind of what I came across. When I played a little bit on my own. I played a little bit with Fisk too on stream if any of you guys were part of that. But I don't know what it is. I think I've just not seen a huge difference in them. I mean, there definitely is a difference. You can tell there with the way the, the, they're kind of curling. You can see this one's curling around the outside. This one's definitely curling inside. And they're thicker. I don't know. I, I, get, I get the impression of that. I don't know if you guys do too. But they definitely seem thicker. Or at least the ones that I've seen. What I think would be really nice, and I did ask Taco this, but to his knowledge, there isn't any kind of condition where this can happen. I hope there would be some kind of thing where, you know when you can get like an albino, and it has like the completely white fur? Well, I was kind of hoping that you could get some kind of, I don't know, I don't really want to say disease because that sounds horrible, but you guys know what I mean. Some kind of discoloration in the antlers, and that'd be a really rare circumstance to come across, or like a thing to come across. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but I hope you guys do. But I just thought that'd be kind of cool. But I hope you guys know what I mean when I said about, like, the broken antlers. Like, little bits of it broken off. There's no doubt about it. Like, True Rack is definitely an improvement in the game. I was just kind of hoping for a little bit more variation, considering there's over 1 million per species. Let's not forget that, guys. It's over 1 million. Right, let's, let's confirm. Let's, let's go into what this says. So, this is what kind of caught me by surprise 
when I first started playing the game. So we've got the hit information, which is the screen which we're currently on right now. Now, one thing to pay attention to is the trophy rating, because I think that dire directly corresponds... I'm going to get tongue-tied today. Directly corresponds to true score. So switch to true score, and you can see this. It's just adding everything up, which you see above on this list here. Now, this is cool, because it gives you a rundown of everything. So we've got the main beam length, the length of the tines, tip-to-tip -tip spread, overall spread, number of times, which... I think I did a little bit of research, guys, and I want people to be impressed, okay? I did a little bit of research. In my country, obviously, I've said it before in other videos, we generally don't have hunting as widespread as it is in other countries around the world. So whenever I heard in movies or in video games, like somebody saying that's an eight-point book, I think that's what this refers to. The number of times is how you would refer to something as a point book. So this, is, this would be a four-point book? I think that's right. Somebody let me know, and I can hear something coming in, so... Quickly going to take a look at this guy. A plus all the way down to F, 136. Nothing special. Obviously consecutive low two. Score of 630, but this is what we've got. And you can definitely see there's a difference there. There's 100% a difference in how they used to look. I just, I don't know what it is. Somebody let me know in the comments. There's something about it. I do like the addition of True Racks, but I can't put my finger on what I don't like about it. All right, let's go off this. I don't think I'm going to save that. I'm going to see if we can find, is that another book? Oh, it's a little one. I haven't got the heart to do it. But look at that. I mean, you can see this. Look how small his antlers are. And and th those things, I think that's got like three on one side and two on the other. It's very cool to see. I don't want to take him out. Some of you guys are going to be like, why did you not shoot that book? I mean, I suppose it's money. So is he still there? Still there. So sorry, dude. <laughs> it wasn't a great shot either, but it took him down. All the dough's going to come flying out now from the tree line. Right, let's take a look at this one then. I suppose seeing as though we took him down, I need the money anyway because I've been burning through ammunition like you wouldn't believe. So let's just take a look at the difference with this one. So let's open this up again. Switch him around. And obviously this is a much, much smaller one or a much smaller book. 89.8. .8. So let's go to the true score here. So again, that's a four point book. I, I hope I'm right with that. So yeah, somebody let me know if that is how you determine... How you call it a four point book or an eight point book or even upwards of that as well so same again add a all the way through to f which is all of these added together to get your score which is the trophy rating that's how you get the trophy rating and obviously the score aside from that is how you determine the true score which i think that's what people are going to be referring to let's go back to hit information let's claim that cool cool little bit of cash 929 it was four thousand to taxidermy that as well i did catch that all right so i think what we're going to do is we're just slowly going to make our way through the map I'm just going to visit certain areas which you guys will be familiar with, which should have blacktail and whitetail. That's all we're going for today. If I come across something which is really good, like in terms of a high level, I'm going to be heartbroken. Because I made the conscious decision today to just bring the mows in. I think I brought two callers for blacktail and whitetail, and both of the scents for blacktail and whitetail. Aside from that, I've got scent elim. That's all I have with me today. So I'm just going to keep making my way around the map. If we can come across some whitetail to kind of get a little bit of variation, that'll be cool. And I'll bring you guys back. Okay, so I made it down to the lake. I've been down here for a good couple of minutes. Usually this lake is pretty good for me. I found two very high level bears here in the past and not too long ago either. But all I'm seeing right now is one doe there. And then over on to the right, we got, oh, we got two more coming in. I did throw down some scent, so... Maybe they're just catching it now. Also, I do want to bring up a point with the scent. I did stop using it a while back because it seemed like it was broken. But since then, I mean, I'm talking a while back, guys. Like, I'm 50 episodes back. I haven't actually used the scent since then. I think I may have used, like, one or two scents for different animals. But definitely not for the black tail or white tail. Alarmed. Well, I suppose I'm not fully covered up. This is also something that I think needs looking at. Like, the trees and stuff. You don't always get cover in them. Take a look in this one. I mean, I could go completely prone. There's no harm with that. But there's been no books around this area. And generally, this lake, as I mentioned, has been pretty good for me in the past. Black tail, white tail bears. There's also elk that do show up around this one. Let's see if we can get eyes on anything. Where did the doe go? There's definitely three over there before. That one is 100% broken. <laughs> And I typically stay away from those type of animals because I've had many crashes before whenever I try and shoot those. Got another buck coming in. He's just there. I like to try and get a look at the antlers before I take him down because usually when they flop down, 
You can't really see them on the animal because it falls into the ground. Okay, we're definitely getting some variation with this one. This is definitely another black tail. Once he pops out of that bush, it's over. Is that a good shot or a bad one? Nope, that's a vital. Should be going down. There we go. He's down. But you could definitely see the variation with that. Like the first one that I got, or the, the bigger book that I got, you could see the antlers were kind of, one was curling in more than the other. I think this one was more vertical, like it was pointing up. Right, let's go take a look. A male, 72.53 kilograms. Pretty standard stuff. 138.7. 759. Let's take a look at those antlers. If you click true score, it does zoom in a little bit so you can see it. I mean, there's not a crazy amount of detail on that. I say detail. There's not a crazy amount of it being different, if that makes sense. It's definitely a, an upgrade from what we had. But like you can see this one here is kind of bowing in and this one is more vertical. Don't know if you can see it. This one here. That's just reminded me as well. I can't wait till things like the elk and the red deer are implemented to the game. Can you guys imagine how cool they're going to look? But you can definitely see there's a difference, which is a big change for Call of the Wild. And obviously, again, I'm going to keep stressing this over a million per animal. Okay, so we've pretty much arrived at the second lake. And again, this is another very, very, very good spot for blacktail and whitetail. Let me see. There's any of them on the hill. I might be a little bit too early because generally, like a lot of you guys, I'll have a rotation of the map that I'll tend to follow. And this will either be one of my first, as in super early in the morning, or just before the sun goes down. And I'm kind of midday or approaching midday right now. So I don't really know if we're going to see anything. I don't know if I'm going to keep it in the video, guys, but the door behind me in my home <laughs> just slammed shut because of the wind. <laughs> I'm not joking. My heart nearly exploded. Oh, my God. <laughs> so I've got like a load of adrenaline pumping through my system right now. Couple of ducks. What we got? Anything good? No, it's crap. Okay, so quick update. When I last spoke to you guys, I would have been kind of on the side of that hill there. I've just kind of adopted a little position on a log underneath the tree. I've not got complete cover, but it's good enough for what we need it to do. Right now, I've got a couple of blacktail really acting weird. I think I've just seen a level four. And I think the highest that we've seen today is a level three. And I really want to look for those antlers to be a little bit different. And I'm guessing the higher level is where we're going to see the big differences. Because so far, I mean, we're definitely seeing the changes and the variations, but nothing really to shout about, you know? So I want to just be a little bit more patient, see if we can wait for at least this level four to come through. I'm going to make one more call. You can see those two right there, they're interested. They want to know what that noise is. Got one on the hill over there too. All right, let's quickly just scan this. Let's see what we're working with. So we have just a doe. Is that... That is a very young book, level two. Actually, so far, I'm going to be honest, so far, I think it's actually cooler seeing the younger ones so you can see how the antlers are forming. Oh, is that the level four? That is the level four. I think there was another one too. Oh, no, that's the level three. Okay, so this is the guy that we're going for. Now, I don't need to rush this. I can take my time. But that's not too much of a tricky shot to make. I've definitely hit further than... 130 before especially at this kind of flat flat terrain I could hit him there let's see how he's behaving I mean that level 3 doesn't look too different than that level 4 I mean look at this that is a level 3 right yeah that is a level 3 and I mean unless that's a, just a very low level 4 why are they nervous too there's no reason for them to be right let's see if we can work some magic with this guy because I do want to get that level 4. If all else fails, I will try quickly to get that level 3. Look at that little guy. Stood next to him. Right, here we go. Good hit. That will be enough to take him down. Let's see if we can go for the level 3. Okay, so I just took a little bit more time. I did wait for the level 3 to come back in and I cracked that one too, so hopefully we should have a level 3 and 4. This one is the level 4. Where do we actually hit him? Oh, we hit him in the spine. I was too high. But... If I aimed a little bit lower, I would. I was trying to go for that diagonal shot straight through both of them. 
I should have kind of aimed around the heart area. It would have dropped it instantly. So what we're working with, 80.13 kilograms, 160. So this is definitely the biggest one that we've got so far. True score. Main beam length of 50. They're coming in again. You guys could hear them. This is definitely more along the lines of what I wanted to see. I mean, you can see that. There's a clear difference there. You can see how this comes all the way nearly in line with the nose. And these two are just sh really short and stubby. And like this back one here is kind of all wiggled up and goes straight to the sky. This one's more smoothed out. That one's just a seven point book. I mean, I'm, I'm kind of happy with that though. Because at least we've seen something different. So let's get rid of that. Except where's the other one that I got? I definitely smacked another one. Okay, so I finally managed to find the other level 3 that I smacked, and I didn't actually hit it where I thought I did. I mean, you can see that. It's pretty much dead center of the chest, but nowhere near the heart. I was actually aiming for the back left, so I would hit that lung, but it wasn't the case. So, true score, let's take a look. Main beams, 46. Length of tines, 43. There's nothing major on this, although I really do like the look of these ones. What's this one? A 6-point book. 1 for 6. Point two. So I'm kind of estimating here, I don't really know because I haven't seen any yet, but around the 200 range is probably where we're kind of getting into the higher level stuff in terms of true score. That's probably what you're looking for. Don't quote me on that guys because I haven't really tested it yet, but that's kind of where I'm estimating a little bit. But you can see the difference between the last one and this one. This is kind of, if you drew a line down the middle and looked how different each side are, that's kind of how I compare them. There's not really a big difference going on here between these two, even if you look at them from above. Whereas the last one had kind of one really unique one and then two stubby ones, which I liked a lot more. So we're definitely looking for the higher level stuff. All right, so hit information, accept. So I think we've had our fill with black tail. I really want to kind of look for some white tail and then we've kind of covered all bases. So I'll catch back up with you guys once I catch up with some white tail. This is very interesting. So, I've not spoken to you guys for 38 minutes. And I have been fast traveling around the map. I've been staying in areas for a fair amount of time. More time than is really needed for animals to come in. But I've not seen a single whitetail. Not one. And I don't know why. Maybe it's something to do with the update. Maybe there's need to patch or something. But I saw more blacktail. But I mean, we've... We've kind, of, we've kind of been through that. We've kind of seen the black tail. That's twice in this episode that I've had a jump scare. But I'm, I'm a little bit disappointed that I'm not actually seeing any white tail. I would have really loved to see at least a small book just to see what they look like. But there's, there's nothing. And this is like one of my favorite spots too. I don't know if they've changed like the areas and where they are and stuff. But there's just nothing. I mean, I can keep looking. There's a few areas that I haven't tried yet, so I think I'm going to go and quickly check those, but I'm actually struggling a little bit to find them. Okay, so good news. It's been 15 minutes since I last spoke to you all, since I was kind of over that side of the map. I rotated the map again back to this point, just in hopes of coming across something. I changed the time a couple of times as well, and I finally come across some white tail. And we have some books in the group too. Oh, that's actually a pretty big one. Look at that. The way the antlers are kind of branching off like away from their head. Holy sh! That's a level four. That's a level two. Look at the size of the white tail's antlers, just for even for a level two. That moose. I'm definitely coming back for that moose. I only have the Mosin. That is a nice rack on that moose. Wait, what's going on? Another moose. Where are those guys going? They're, they're rotating around this way. I'm going to throw out some more scent because they're completely in my wind direction now. I want to go for that big guy. It's no wonder that I couldn't find any of them. They're all here. Like every single whitetail on the map is here. <laughs> it's like no exaggeration either. What we got going on? Just a doe, a couple of does. I'm actually really excited I saw that moose too. I had a really nice wreck. Definitely coming back for that. Right. Let's get serious then. So what we got here, what we're working with, we got a level two there. I can't quite make out what you guys are at the back. You're a level two. Are they all level two? Oh, look at that one. It's got like a spike going straight up. Can't spot it. Go away. 
You guys are being super cautious over there. Level two, level two, level two. Okay, this is definitely where you're seeing a difference. Because look at, look at this guy's here. <gasps> what the... You push me out for everybody to... See what I'm dealing with today, guys? <laughs> this crap that I'm dealing with. Okay, so what I was trying to say to you guys is look at this guy's antlers here. That one is definitely different than, let's say, this one on this side. Are they moving off? Crap, I've left it too long. Let me just do a couple more calls. I don't need to rush this because all I'm doing, like I told you guys at the start of the episode, we're just observing. We're getting a feel for how true racks works and the variations that you can come across. I'm not looking to take everything down or, you know, looking for big high levels and stuff. If I come across a rare, that's different because I've got a thing for those. I really, really like coming across rares. But so far, I'm actually quite impressed with the white tail antlers, more so than the black tail. I think that level four black tail was cool because there was definitely a difference. But I mean, we've got three males here and you can see a clear difference between all three of them. Obviously, they've got similarities, but there's a clear difference. I would still go as far as to say it still needs a little bit more just because it's a video game and to keep people interested, at least in my opinion. I mean, look at that. Okay, nailed him pretty good. Let's see what that does. Okay, so managed to get myself another one. I don't actually know where the first one's gone because I can't find its tracks anywhere. I mustn't have hit it as well as I thought I did, but... I mean, at least we got one down. It is a smaller one. I'm going to try and... Oh. I'm going to try and circle round and see if I can catch up with the group. But yeah, I mustn't have hit that first one as clean as I thought I did. I always struggle on the front shots as of late. I don't know why. Alright, so this one's only got teeny tiny ones. But even so, I like this more. You see, it's definitely it's got its own kind of... I say this a lot, but it's got its own kind of character. And again, we may never see another style like this the whole time we play the game for the rest of our time playing. That's insane to me. So, let's go to true score. So, this is a four point book. Main beam length, 34.2. Now this is obviously different than the black tail because white tail is bigger, so I'm gonna switch that round. Where do we actually hit it? Let me see where I hit it. Yep, double pen. So, 131.0. And see, this is small, so I wonder if it's different for white tail. I said roughly around the 200 range. For black tail, it's probably going to be higher than that for white tail, a lot higher. So I need to play around with that a little bit more. One thing that I'm not too sure on is this, the circumference. I was thinking about it while I was walking around before. I think it is that. I mean, I'm going to learn along the way, but even so, I mean, look at this. This is definitely much different than we've seen before. This was only a level one as well. I like it. It's cool. It's something different. I still want a little bit more in terms of, like, variation. But it's a start. The developers can always just add on to this. It's the first integration of, of True Rack, so we can't be overly harsh. But at the same time, it's always nice to voice what you would like to see. This was just one of the does. Right, let me just go back. Let me have a double check, see if I can find if I did smack that other male. Because I really wanted to get that one. Oh, there we go. Okay, we got some tracks. That was so strange, though, because... From all the way back behind the bridge, like way back behind the bridge, there was no other tracks. And just on the off chance, I came around this side because I found like what looked like a flesh wound. 50 to 75, this has got to be it. So persistence does pay off, guys. Don't give up. Keep looking. Even if it looks like the animal's bugged out or something, just keep looking around the area. It can pay off. So at least we're going to get to see one of the bigger guys. 25 to 50 should be down up ahead. It wasn't a great shot. I can already tell. That's actually really cool looking. I'm actually really glad that we found this guy. Look at this. Look how thick this bit is here. Right, let's switch. What score was that? So 233 and a score of 702. So if we go to this, a 14-point book. I, I hope I'm right with that. So that's a 14-point book. And that's a level 2. So 233. So Oh, yeah. So this is definitely going to go to possibly like... Over 250 to 300 maybe for a very high score in white tail. Again, that's just a guess. I'm just going off what I'm seeing with the black tail. 
So, again, 14-point book. Where did I actually nail this guy? Let me take a look. So I hit him dead center, but just a little bit too high. It was on course to go for the heart if it was a bit lower, but let's switch back to this. I mean, I can't be mad at that. That's nice. It's a good change to the game. It's something definitely different. I didn't expect this business. It kind of inverts on itself. And those two at the back just spiking up like that. I do like this. Okay, this is kind of this has saved it for me a little bit. But I mean, we've still got a lot to see. This is only just a couple of hours of playing the game on my own and not playing with other people as well. As everybody knows, when you're looking with other people, you find more stuff. So, I mean, I'm sure I'm going to be able to find some really weird looking animals, especially higher level ones down the line. Let me go to this, accept this. But guys, let me know what you guys have found since True Rax has released. Have you found anything super weird? Have you found anything really, really high level? Let me know in the comments below, or you can either let me know on Twitter, and if you're not already part of the Discord, guys, a link will be down in the description. We've got over a thousand members now, which is just insane, and everyone has been super, super nice. So if you want to join, link's down in the description. For now, though, guys, I am going to end. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your support. And I'll see you all in the next one.